it's a good size crowd that's uh, made its way into the John Smith Stadium for the opener ground that holds around about 24,000 average around about 17 last season and last time out here the playoff semi-final second leg victory over Luton their dreams were dashed just days later in dramatic and hugely controversial fashion the playoff final against Nottingham Forest and there is Vincent Company who accepted the job in June the first Belgian ever to manage in England and again Burnley demonstrating their composure as they try and play the ball out from the back Does of course give Huddersfield the chance to uh, seize possession deep inside Burnley territory but Burnley moving through the gears here nicely it's Matson far side he's got plenty of options in the middle has he taken too long? In goes the shot, and it's comfortable. Cullen with it, safely gathered by Nichols, but uh, Matson was driving forward there. There were at least two, if not three, who were in the middle waiting for the ball in. One, two, three, waiting in the box. Matson decides to cut it back to Cullen. Ruffles, who uh, has an opportunity this season in that left back berth, given the departure of Harry Toffolo. Moving on to Nottingham Forest along with uh, Lewis O'Brien as Hogg is caught in possession. That's a nice ball by Costello. Barnes drives it across. Safely gathered by Nichols. Bastion wasn't too far away from uh, getting a touch of this. But this is wonderful play from 19 year old Costello making his. Uh, First ever appearance for the first team today. It is a shot from Barnes. I'm taking a bit of the angle of that, it might well have become a very decent cross for Bastian in the middle. It's a foul on Hogg. Here is Barnes. Looking to get hold again. That's Brownhill. Hooked away by Holmes. For Matson, who uh, is clearly one of those fullbacks who loves to get forward. Barnes with the little dummy. Brownhill nearly got in. And Matson sweeps it home. The young Dutchman on a season loan from Chelsea opens his Burnley accounts inside 18 minutes. Oh, what a great start for Vincent Company in his first coaching role in English football. It almost broke down there. But Manson arrived in the nick of time and quite possibly used some of the Burnley bodies in front of him as a, a bit of a screen to prevent Nichols getting a clear view of it. It's no more than Burnley deserve having dominated the opening exchanges here with some lovely possession football. Huddersfield Town nil, Burnley won, and one of their many debutants this evening is their first score of the season. Taylor with a diagonal. It's a good leap from Costello, and it's down for Brownhill. Cork on for Costello, brought it down beautifully on the chest. Lees hasn't completely stopped him. It's Roberts now for Burnley. This is Cullen. Roberts is in! Fabulous save by Nichols. What a wonderful move, though, from Burnley. And Nichols has every right to ask the question of those defenders in front of him. What were they doing? Good work by Costello initially, and Roberts then linking up with Cullen. The Welshman will feel that perhaps he should have made it 2-0 from there happy to receive the ball in that kind of position and get Burnley moving again it's Brownhill looking left for Matson. Barnes and Costello are in the middle here's Costello what a chance Barra Costello with a wonderful opportunity to celebrate 
his first appearance for Burnley with his first goal for them. Maxim with the darting run, checks to see what's available. It's a lovely ball in. And Costello, who uh, waiting with 12 goals for the Burnley under-23s last season, will be hugely disappointed that he was unable to bury that opportunity. success last season largely built on results here they were ever so strong here won 13 of their matches they only lost four and they were against the three promoted sides and, and Middlesbrough Thomas delivers shots of a foul as Lees goes down I don't think he was expecting anything it was the fans that uh, were hoping more than expecting I don't think Ali Muric has made a single save so far this evening. I'm not sure that Huddersfield have had a single shot this evening, but Anurin trying to do something about that. It's a lovely twisting run. Still might get a shot away here. Wouldn't quite sit for him. And Burnley desperately trying to clear as Ward has the swing. And Ward unable to hit the target there. A chance out of nothing. Wouldn't sit for Anurin after his purposeful run here and ultimately as Burnley just panicked slightly at the back there a missed kick clearance it dropped for Ward good connection from last season's top scorer for Huddersfield but unable to test Muric last season Burnley had to wait an age to get their first one of the campaign didn't come until their 10th game of the season at the end of October and they're 15 minutes away from starting this championship campaign with a victory. First phase cleared. Taylor offs it in for the second. Harwood Bellis with a header. And uh, I think he felt that Nichols took the ball over his line there. Thomas has lost it immediately. Actually, it was well won by Scott Twine. Harwood Bellis. Taylor oh, they were. did Harwood Bellis had a claim here no Nichols right leg clearly across the line but the ball firmly stayed in play Sumu thought he got the ball. Instead, it's a yellow card for the summer signing. And it's a free kick in a very inviting position here for Burnley. Lovely touch off the chest there by Twine. Kasumu going in strongly on Vitinho. Twine fancies this. 
This certainly is a Maxwell Cornet range, isn't it? But uh, Ivorian not involved tonight, might never play again for Burnley. It's for new boys to step up and accept responsibility. They have played really well tonight as a unit. And one of the other summer signings put his name on the score sheet alongside Ian Matson. Twine fancies it, Twine goes for it, and he hits the post. So, so close, Scott Twine. Lee Nichols would not have got across. Around the wall, that was heading home. Sign of his confidence, a man that couldn't stop scoring in League One last season with MK Dons. Cleared by Taylor. And that'll do, that will do for Vincent Company and Craig Bellamy. A winning start as they take over at Burnley. A very bright and positive performance from his team that by the end included eight debutants. They were dominant throughout the first half. The goal from one of those debutants, the young Dutchman Ian Matson. Nichols and Costello had other opportunities. Scott Twine struck a post with a free kick in the second half. They were far, far too good for Huddersfield, who looked pretty dishevelled and disjointed, particularly in the first half, and will have to improve big time if they uh, have any kind of threat to emulate what they achieved in the championship last season. Burnley looked bright, Burnley looked good. The three points are heading back to Lancashire. Finishes on the opening day in the championship at the John Smith Stadium. Huddersfield Town nil, Burnley won.